The Japanese government is trying to speed up decontamination work in areas near the plant. They plan to introduce new equipment that will help lower radiation levels. Authorities at the Environment Ministry had hoped to finish most of the cleanup at 11 municipalities near the plant by the end of next March. But they've had to push back the deadline in seven areas. The work there is going slower than expected. Officials have had difficulty gaining the approval of people who live in the area. Residents are worried about the effectiveness of the cleanup. And authorities have been struggling with a lack of storage facilities for contaminated soil. Ministry officials will introduce a new type of device to help speed up the work. The equipment uses water to remove radioactive substances and then gathers up the contaminated liquid. Decontamination of areas around Fukushima Daiichi is a seemingly endless task. Officials with the Environment Ministry say they're organizing a second cleanup in some places because radiation there has gone back up. Municipal leaders and residents have been demanding a second round of decontamination. Environment Ministry officials did not originally have a clear strategy for responding. They only said they'd handle demands on a case-by-case -case basis. Now the officials say they'll send workers to reclean sites where radiation levels are considerably higher than they were after the first round of decontamination. They say rainwater and fallen leaves may have carried radioactive substances. They've yet to decide how much of an increase in radiation will warrant a second cleanup. Workers removed contaminated leaves from woodland areas within 20 meters of homes in the first round of cleanups, but radiation levels remain high in some locations. Ministry officials say they'll send crews to reclean woodland areas within five meters of homes. People in Fukushima Prefecture have been closely monitoring radiation levels since the nuclear disaster two years ago. They are now able to access this information when they travel on a public transport. Buses in four cities began using special equipment on Thursday to measure radioactivity from the nuclear accident. Researchers at the Japan Atomic Energy Agency developed this system. The real-time measurements are displayed near JR Fukushima Station. The information is also available online. The data is updated every 30 seconds. Areas with low radiation levels are shown in blue. The color changes to green, then yellow as levels rise. The data can be tracked back to January. It's very useful to have real-time information about radiation levels because they change when we have windy or rainy weather. 